Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? All right, so what's what's going on with Rise of Skywalker or whatever? So there's not, like, too much going on with that per se. I mean, the movie's out. It's it's making money. I don't think it's making as much as they were hoping. Okay. Um, but, I mean, it's still out there. The, I think the it's, react- like, 9.45 right now. Yeah. The the reactions are are the reactions. I, I think the narrative for this has has been set. That it, again, it's either a lot of people really like it, a lot of people hate it, and that's it. I mean, we're we're basically nowhere more so, you know, as a fan base than we were when the Last Jedi came out. Right. Okay. Um, so, what's the plan now with the? You know, what are they going to do so, next? Right. So this is what I've heard, and this has been a big story lately about what is the future of star wars films films specifically not stuff on disney plus okay um apparently there's this project luminous which we know is a real thing that they are working on and it's apparently a canon wise or canon wide product uh, project basically what that means is that you're going to get movies books merchandise you know all bunch of things with this related to this project luminous what is it called we don't know yet. We, it, it, right now, it's just called Project Luminous. Project um, Luminous. Now, from what I've heard, and this is unsubstantiated right now, but apparently they're going to announce this soon, sooner rather than later. The next movies are going to be what are called The High Republic. Now, The High Republic is referring to the Republic that we know from the prequels 400 years in the past. What? So apparently, we're going to see Yoda 400 years younger as a Jedi. We're not going to see him as a kid or a teenager or anything. He'll be a Jedi master already. Okay. He's not as old as we saw him. And they're going to tell stories in that time period leading up to the prequels. Now, I'm assuming what they're going to do is show how the Jedi order changed over time. So they're going to be similar to the way they were in the prequels, but not as like bogged down by the Republic and the democracy and the, you know, politics and blah, 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 blah. Um, They're obviously all going to be different except for Yoda, because obviously this is 400 years in the past. Um, And I'm assuming we are going to get more Sith potentially as the villains or pulling the strings behind the villains that we get because the Sith are supposed to be gone at this point, even though they weren't. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. So hold on. So 400 years in the past, but the Sith are gone already? Yeah, because there was a whole time there where the Sith were not around. So how could you do a story without the Sith? In in the Jedi's eyes. The Sith never went away. They just changed form. So there's no Sith in this movie? There is. I'm assuming that if there are, it's going to be them pulling strings in the background. But, but. So you're not going to have the Jedi fighting the Sith? You're going to have the Jedi fighting somebody. But not the Sith. I, I doubt it's going to be the Sith. I, oh I think that God. If, if, it is, if it is the Sith, it's going to be later on, and it's going to be like... So they're oh, altering this, canon, like, technically? No, no, no. This is, this yeah, is no. how it was. Because when, when, a lot of people don't know, when, when Darth Maul showed up in episode one, he was, like, the first Sith to show up in, like, centuries. For a long time, right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So At least what they, what they knew. The Sith have always been around. They just didn't know. Okay. That's the whole rule of two thing, because the the Sith that they were used to fighting was like a whole empire of Sith. Right. Then Darth Bane came along and he was like, "Uh, uh, uh, rule of two. And then they and then they blended into the background and nobody was the wiser. Palpatine's not even born yet. No, no. This is way before his time. And Plagueis is not around. Nope. It's before his time, too. So who's going to be in it? They're probably going to make up new characters. Oh. I'm assuming it's going to be because they can. You know, we, we don't really know anything that happened in the canon before episode one. So they have a whole. But you see, the problem it. I have with prequels is 
Like it doesn't like they're not gonna they're dead. Like they're not gonna be like what's the point of whatever they're gonna do? It's it's not like it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, I you know. It's it not could, gonna it's not gonna like they're gonna die and then they're forgotten already. I mean like it's not Yeah, I mean the the only the only one that we need that we know will make it out of them is Yoda. I mean just make a Darth Vader movie. Why can't we just do that? Well that that could still be happening. Um but apparently I don't want this, no young Yoda crap. I don't want any of that. Yeah, well, we're not we're not gonna get that um, because Yoda. Why can't they just make a Rebels movie? Can't they make a Rebels movie? Well, okay, well here's here's the thing about that. Um, Rebels is apparently getting a sequel series on Disney Plus. Okay. So and, and apparently it's gonna focus on Ahsoka and Sabine trying to find Ezra, and I'm assuming that they find him in Thrawn and the unknown regions and the Grisks are there and it's a whole. So this thing. High Council thing is supposed to be a trilogy. The High Republic is apparently going to be the first thing that's not bound to a trilogy. One movie. No, it could be more than three. More than three. Yes. Oh my god. Because they said that they're not they're not binding the Star Wars films to trilogies anymore. But, but the point is that you think about it, it's, it's not even it's more than the trilogy. It's like freaking nine movies. Oh yeah, yeah. I but, mean. Three trilogies, though. That's basically what there's like. They're like, we're done with trilogies. We're we're gonna so do whatever. It will be it will be, be four movies. It's like, but that doesn't make an it, it book. Whatever. I don't know. It it depends on what they want to do. I don't know and if it, that's gonna work. This is this is Kevin Feige doing this. We don't know who's doing it right now. I don't know about other, this one. Other than, other than the the novels that are coming out for it, they announced the authors that are involved with it. I don't know if I'm crazy about this. Again, this uh, is just a rumor at this point. This could be completely nonsense, but all right. So, let's say you and I are in the in the writers' room trying to decide Star Wars future. Yeah. What do you do next? Me? Oh God. Yeah, knowing that Rise of Skywalker is just gonna make a billion, maybe, right? Barely or not. I I would I would go to Dave Filoni and be like, listen, you need to make a Luke Skywalker show. You got to do it. Well, okay, forget about net. Forget about um Disney Plus. I'm talking mm-hmm. about like movies, right? Movie. What could you do that could put this course correction like right on track? Do you go a hundred years into the future? No. Why? I I don't go into the future yet because people are not happy even about the past. Or, I, just, I mean, so about- if you go in the future like a hundred, two hundred years, like. You can just restart everything, no? I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far. I, I wouldn't I would I personally wouldn't do a, a movie in the future. Um what I would probably do is I'd probably do a movie between six and seven. So we can get some kind of like what's going on? What's happening? You know? So, um I mean with Rise of Skywalker, right? Yeah. Just like with Return of the Jedi we thought, oh, they won officially. It's it. No more Empire. But there was Empire, right? Going into First Order, right? So yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so how do we know that's the same shit not happening again? Like We don't. Why would the Empire be completely done or the First Order or the Last Order, whatever you want to call it? Why would that be completely done? We don't know. And, and, and I, I would go as far as to even say we don't even know if Palpatine's actually dead. Exactly. So, I mean, um, the, the point is, like, don't get rid of – First of all, get rid of the first order shit. It's the Empire. That's it. Right? Forget about that. It's the Empire. They're around. They're in chaos. Who knows leading it? Even, like, you know, the re- the, the resistance, the rebellion, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they're, they're rebuilding too. But we need, like, leadership. We need, like, different things going on. Right? Now, that video game, how does the video game fall into canon? You Fall in order? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, it did very well. Uh, yeah, and, I know, but how, is yeah. that canon or not canon? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. It, it takes place between episodes three and four. Three and, and four? Three and four, yes. Okay. And it, it, it did a, a decent job of kind of giving the idea of what life was like for some of these Jedi that survived Order 66. Okay. Um, and it, it, it harped on the, the main point, which was, trying to find force sensitive children to revive the Jedi order, which was something that was talked about a lot in that time period. Um, 
Right. And, and we got a lot more information on like the Inquisitors and stuff. So it, it definitely did well. My thing is though, it's, it's another thing between episode three and four. And, right. you know, I know I'm going to be hypocritical because I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Obi-Wan show, which of course we know is between three and four, but we need to get out of this three and four thing. It's, we, we've been here too long. I so know where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? We got to go between five and six and more importantly, six and seven. Six and seven has not been flushed out yet. Now they're trying to do that and, they've, and they're, they're doing a decent job with the new comic that they released, but we need more. We need to know what was going on between six and seven. Now more than ever, we need to know what the hell Palpatine was doing because right. this is not, we didn't get that explanation in the movie. We need to know what's going on. Okay. But, so you don't think just going forward is not a, no. Not oh, right now. Yes. I think in the future, yeah. Okay. See, what I, I, like what I would like to do, if, if possible, would be not a movie that's way in the future, but only a little bit after The Rise of Skywalker, and have Thrawn show up as a villain, and then, you know, the twist is that he's not the main villain of the thing, that he's, he's, trying, to, he's trying to get rid of the New Republic to repair and prepare the galaxy for the threat that's coming in, which would be the Grisks, which are like the canon equivalent of the Yushan Vong. And then you have kind of like and a... the Jedi can't fight them? They can fight them, yeah. The Grisks don't have the same thing that the Yushan Vong did with... But the Grisks, you can't use the force on the, on the Grisks? You can. You can use it, yeah. You can. It's just that they're, they're, they're invaders from outside the galaxy, which I think is an interesting idea. Okay. Um, and you, you could have, like, tw in the last movie, like, an, like a... The tw if, if I was going to do a trilogy, which I would do, I would do 10, 11, and 12, and 10 would introduce Thrawn as the villain and, and build him up and you'd have Rey with her order and, and yada, yada, yada. And then the second movie, the twist would be that Thrawn wins and then at a key moment in the battle, he like, you know, tells his forces to stop and whatnot. And then he communicates with, you know, Rey and them and he's like, this is what's coming. And then the third movie is them trying to repel the Grisks, the, the, the two forces trying to repel them. It's a change of pace change a villain, we make the characters that people don't really like from these other three a little bit better. That's so it. as a villain, he wins. He's like, look, we don't have time for this. I need yeah. your help. Yeah. They're, and they're which like is, dumbstruck. Like, what? You just beat us. Yeah, what? Right. Which is, yeah. a very, which is a very Thrawn thing to do. Right. You know, at least in these, new move, in these new books, you know, when he wins, he doesn't just outright obliterate people. He's always like, listen, this is what's going on. Okay. So he's like, look, I fought with you. I want to see if you're ready. We need to take care of this. Yeah. Okay. And this is the opportunity to flesh out Ray more. To well, you know, everything that they didn't do in 7, 8, and 9 would be what I would try to do in 10, 11, and 12. That's a different thing. I might like yeah. that. But, but, you know, honestly, though, Part of me is also like, just make the fucking Darth Vader movie. Yeah, exactly. Just, trilogy. Just make a fucking trilogy. Yeah. Make him go hunt these fucking Jedi and fucking yeah. wiping everybody out and have fucking... You could go crazy with that. You could have a whole... You can introduce a whole bunch of Jedi that, and everything, and they all die. Like, eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Just wipes them out. But just shows how much more skilled... He is like you could like he really laid back with his son mm -hmm. fighting Luke, mm -hmm. just like we saw in Rogue One, just totally go nuts. Yeah, make make Darth Vader really frightening, you know, make right. make him like holy shit. Like know? we always talked about that even before Rogue One. I'm like, this is what needs to be like a horror movie. Everybody like screaming. Remember I said that? Yeah, we got that. We got that. Yep. It was excellent, excellent. Yeah. So again, we need to show how powerful Darth Vader really was. Now, in the, in, in the comics, they've been doing something pretty interesting. Spe speaking of making, like, showing people how powerful characters really are, there's this, the, the Rise of Kylo Ren comic that they're doing right now, where it's showing, you know, what happened when Ben left Luke's order, and right. from there, it, it shows... But can you really believe that? Because they can uncanon that in five seconds. Yes, but for everything that they've done so far has connected very well. Except for the, you know... 
the Snoke thing, which right. you know, and except for like you know him making Anakin. Like that. Well, that, that that was a different comic altogether. That was that was a. I know. That was a so that, I'm kind of a, yeah. I'm kind of weary of that. Um, so in this one though, what they did was they showed when Luke was training Ben, right. and they had the character Lor Santeca there, which was the guy that Kylo Ren kills at the beginning of Seven. Okay. Um, and they go to this temple, this ancient Jedi temple that's basically like falling apart, but the inside actually looks pretty pretty pristine and whatnot. Right. So the three of them go in there and they're confronted by the Knights of Ren and the original leader of the Knights of Ren, who ironically is just called Ren. Um, he's, and, he's, he's right. He's the, he's yeah. Them. So the Knights of Ren are all force sensitive and this Ren guy is apparently pretty powerful, but he, he basically tells Luke, Ben and Lord Shantek, he's like, you, you three don't belong here. Get out of here or we're going to kill you. And Luke is like, yeah, okay. Um, and I, the next few pages are possibly some of the best things that I've ever seen Luke do because he just finesses every single one of the Knights of Ren in like 10 seconds. He just pulls out his lightsaber and he's like, dun, 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 dun. And then he goes to Ren and he's like, listen, your boys are all on the floor over there. You're next. And Ren's like, oh, I got to get out of here. <laughs> like, Right, fuck this. He's gonna fucking kill me. Right, um, fuck this shit. Yeah, so Luke's like, listen. You, you, so Knights of Ren were never fucking good at all. They, well, they went up against Luke, and they completely got floored. So yeah, right. I had so many ideas about how good this thing was going right? to be. Right? Fucking now, I, I, can, I can forgive the writers for this. Because fucking it's, scrubs. It's Luke, you know, like at this point. But he, like, even so, I was like, man, he just took all them out in like five minutes. That could have been a whole fucking movie in the Knights of Ren. They could have made that the coolest fucking thing. Instead, they, she turned, the whole Knights of Ren, Ren became like Captain Phasma. Yes. They could have made her fucking big, too. They fucked that up. And that's the problem, should, people. Should when, you try to, when you try to replace Boba Fett and try to make a character that all he talks and everything, they think yeah. this is going to be the fucking character, and she sucks ass. She could have, I, I honestly think she should have survived in eight and she should have beaten Finn in that fight that they had. You know, that could have been the thing, but. Crazy. I don't know. Why couldn't she be a fucking thing where Emperor Palpatine fucking saves her and fucking builds her and trains her to be a fucking Sith or whatever? Because you got to have two. She, she wasn't force sensitive. Nah. Well, they could have made her force sensitive, but they didn't. Uh, all right. Sorry, Captain so, Plasma. Yeah, I mean, so as far as Star Wars goes, I mean, that that's the the most of of what's going on right now. It just seems like they don't know where to go. They don't know where to go with the movies. And 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 it's like I saw the trailer for Birds of Prey, and it's like that's totally another fucking direction too. With DC yeah, I, I completely ignored that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's happening. I don't know what they're trying to do with DC, and it's like a fucking joke. Oh. Oh, speaking of DC, um, they're filming the Batman. Good. They said that they, they've seen Colin Farrell as the Penguin on set. Okay. Um, and apparently somebody got a picture of the bat suit. Oh. So, yeah. But it's filming right now. And Christian Bale is fucking in Thor. Well, the, uh, the rumor right now is that he's playing Beta Ray Bill. Oh. Yeah. You heard what happened with Doctor Strange? I did, yeah. Apparently the director is now an executive producer because of creative differences. Yep, here we go. And you wanna know you wanna know apparently what those creative differences were? That that probably Wanda was the main fucking shit. No. Apparently the director, from what I heard anyway, I don't know how true this is, but it sounds about right because of what they said in an interview. The director wanted to make it like a horror movie. But well, that's like, what they were supposed to make it like. Yeah, they're right? not they're not doing that anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Because Kevin Feige said in a recent interview, like, well, it's not really like a horror movie. Yeah, so there you go. No. So I think they got cold feet with it and said, no, yeah, because the New Mutants is going to be a horror movie. And that's coming out. Yeah, finally. Which I, honestly, that might do well. It might. And that might be like, oh shit, what do we do now? Because you imagine that movie does blows it out of the park. It yeah. makes tons of money. What are you going to do? Is yeah. that canon? Probably not, right? I mean, like, what do you... I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. 
How can it be? I'm telling you, I think it's going to do well. I think yeah, it's going to they, be surprised. It's going to be the joker of the of the thing. I think it's going to do really good. There have been a lot of rumblings, too, about uh, the Hulk apparently being purchased by Marvel. I love that. If that's true, that's great. And yeah. Namor, I heard. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, do a, do a Hulk movie. Let's go. Why not? You know? See, the, my whole point is, like, yes, Avengers Endgame, but, like, does that mean all your characters are, like, done mostly? I mean, that's terrible. Like, let's go. Like, Thor, yes, that's great. I want another Captain America. I don't give a shit. Let's see him go and put the stones back. Like, I want I want that. It's it's all uh, it all depends on what Chris Evans wants to do. He's coming back. I, I think believe. he will. I think he's I think definitely. He will. I think yeah. he's taking off. Three years, he'll be back. He'll be especially if they're going to do A versus X. There's yeah, no I think Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. too is going to be back. He'll come he's, back. I yep. think he's back already. Yeah. He might have to because apparently Doctor Doolittle is going to tank. Do you think it's going to tank? Oh, I, 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 I'm not saying that. That's what all the analysts are saying. Like it's going to fucking tank. It's going to be yeah, one but of the worst. He's doing Sherlock Holmes after that. Third one. Yeah. I, I still think he needs to stay as Tony Stark. I think they, they, that was the plan. He, he created something that uploaded his consciousness. Oh while, yeah. Like that's why he didn't speak to Pepper at all oh, because yeah. he was already being dismantled into the computer. That's I, what I, I think. think I, I've been saying that since like the second time I saw the movie and I saw the hologram looked right at Morgan. Exactly. And said, I love you 3000. I was like, okay, I know Tony. Exactly. Stark, exactly. But there's exactly. no way he knew that she was going to sit at that exact spot. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I think so. And they'll probably show a scene with Gwyneth Paltrow and, and the hologram talking to her, mm-hmm. you know, and he's like, how do you think this went? And she's, and then, you know, she'll be like, how are we going to get you? restored you know or something like mm-hmm. see right now as of in the comics right now he's dead i mean that whole thing like i said that wasn't him at all and arno stark is running around as iron man 2020 that's the whole thing in the comics mm-hmm. now so but uh you know captain marvel knocked him he was done you know with the civil war mm-hmm. two which is oh what about that now i heard that's done too Captain What's Marvel that? too, like they're totally going away from that. Yeah, it it sounds like they 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 might be doing what everybody said they should do. It it sounds like they're moving away from Captain Marvel and possibly going more towards Scarlet Witch. Because she because did she piss them off or? I I heard a, I heard something like that, like Brie Larson. She, in every the interview there is, she ripped apart the Avengers. Yeah. Like you could see it, them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So she did it to herself. Basically. And she knows this or she don't know this? I don't know. I, I She don't care don't because know. she's going to be in the Star Wars movie. Probably. She's probably going to be. He said it already. Fox. Yeah, Kevin Feige's probably going to put her in there. She's a fucking Jedi. Probably. So she don't give a shit. Which, if that's the case, that's a very interesting thing because it kind of narrows down where Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie can take place. Why? Because unless he's doing a story between three and four where she's a Jedi there, it's either got to be in like an old Republic thing or something else. Like not, it can't, it's probably not going to be after seven or I'm sorry, after nine. It Are they not around. allowed to be after nine? No, because there's just, well, I mean, they could do after nine. I just don't think they're going to right now. But, okay. So they're giving these guys a break. Yeah. So but they will come back, I'm sure. I'm I'm thinking of if she's playing a Jedi, there's only a limited amount of spaces where she could be a Jedi. It's either before the Republic. She's definitely or a Jedi, I heard. Probably. And what's the name's in it too? Who? Chris Evans wants to be in it too. But not. I think he probably want to be evil or something. You know who I would cast him as? A First no. Order, like a, a oh. fucking. What? No, no, no. This is an old canon character, Kyle Katarn. Yeah, Kyle Katarn was the was the guy the guy you played as in like Jedi Academy and Jedi Knight, Mysteries of the Sith stuff like that. He was a Jedi that joined Luke's Academy apparently like around sometime I can't remember when, but he was the Jedi Battle Master. Okay. And and he was a very important character mm. in the in the old legends. And Chris Evans kind of has that look of Kyle Katarn. Okay. If he just if he grew his kind of like how he looked in Knives Out. 
Yeah. Is how he should look for Kyle Katarn. Which I, I didn't see think. that yet, but that's getting a sequel already. Oh, Knives Out was fantastic. Wow. It was really good. And they're not doing anything with him anymore, right? Or they are? Who? Brian Johnson. Star Probably Wars. not. I, I, I doubt it. Is it his choice or their choice? I, I think it's probably their choice, to be honest so with you. So now that they're, they're, they're recognizing less Jedi, like, problems with it or no? Certain people are, but... In Lucasfilm people, or Disney? Both. But, mo- but what Disney seems to be doing right now is saying, like, this trilogy didn't work the way we wanted it to. No, definitely not. The whole thing. So, which definitely I don't... I, I honestly think that the only one that worked the way they wanted it to was The Force Awakens. Of that trilogy. I mean, there's, the action figures are dead. The interest yeah. is dead. They got to they gotta spice it up. They got to do something. You know, you know what it is? I mean, honestly, they should just fucking bank on the Mandalorian. Because right now, that's the, that, that's the only thing that's working. I mean, doesn't Ju- Lucas was on set, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was heavily involved in that? He wasn't heavily involved, but he was involved a bit. Like, he oversaw. He, was wa- he loved it, though, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he loved it. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I... That's your movies right there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm excited to see what they do with, with Moff Gideon and the Darksaber in the next okay. one. Like, that. that's my... In the next season. That's yeah. my interest. And then, apparently, somebody said that Baby Yoda is going to get a name next season. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, that's cool. Um, and let's yeah. just... Disney Plus, let's, let's throw some series out there, huh? Because yeah, next I'm going gonna, gonna to dump it... Like, I'm not getting it, keeping it. Next, next month is Clone Wars, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, and then Wanda and WandaVision is gonna, it was moved up. So. I know, but how long is that like? How many episodes is that, 10? I don't know. What's up with Loki? That was the first thing that was announced, right? Why is that taking yeah, that, appara- that, that apparently isn't happening for like another year or two. Why? I don't know. Is something maybe wrong Tom, with that? Maybe Tom Hiddleston's schedule. Maybe. What is he doing? I don't know. He he might be doing something that's keeping him from that or a couple of things that are keeping He's him. He's in a new Thor movie, I heard. He should be. I would hope so. He's alive. I guess. Again, I'm still kind of dubious on that whole thing with uh, with Thor, this fourth movie. But I'm happy that it is, just like Guardians 3. But yeah, I, I feel, yes, you got Black Widow, but she needs to be saved. Uh, this... This whole adventure before I'm, I'm not listen. My whole thing is like all these freaking little prequels here and there. Yeah, I'm not for that. Like, can we just go yeah. present time? You know, I don't. Yeah, I, don't I, I don't like time jumps either because now you're getting ridiculous. But I think of all the things I'm looking forward to the most would probably be Spider Man. See what the oh, hell yeah. they're doing with it. I, I thought you were gonna say uh, Morbius because we're getting no, that soon. I don't care about that. That's gonna be shit. <laughs> you think that's gonna be good? Probably not. They, I'm gonna the say, comics sucked. I mean, they they try. They try. I don't think so. I'm I'm gonna say no, but then again, I said that about Venom, and I was kind of right. But look at how well that did. I mean, it did good. It, you know. So. And I'm I heard a lot of stuff about how apparently there's a good chance that Spider-Man apparently shows up in Venom too. Yeah, I'm hearing that too now. Which is kind of weird. It, but, it's called um, Disney. You want like us to let you have him in the movies? Well, we're gonna do our own shit. Shut the fuck up. Mm. Basically, and it's like okay. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird because if Tom Holland shows up, I mean that. No, but it's means- not. But they already said it's it's the Spider Man. From a universe that Thanos never, there was no Infinity War. Right, right, right. So it's it, so he's it, longer it, in the role than right. he's an older Peter Parker. So it, I mean that's going to be just a, a bit confusing for like the GA because they're going to be like, look, right? Tom. You're going to have to say, okay, everything is the same Civil War yeah. except for Infinity yeah. War didn't happen. That that's it's that you're supposed to believe that. The Avengers are in that universe. Everybody's in that universe, right? But I'll just forget about Infinity War. I mean, logically, that makes sense. I just, I don't, I don't trust 
Sony with being able to make that distinction. I right, see they're not going to be able to. They're going to fuck that up. Well, well they, they fucked just, that up with Jay Jay J- Jonah Jameson when they they right. tried to make it that the person was suing, and then they had they almost got sued, and they had to fix that. Right. Because they had a very definitive explanation that nobody got hurt when they were brought back, whatever. It's it's going to be one of those weird like. Look, Tom Holland showed up in Venom too. That means it's in the MCU, and then we're gonna have like a thousand articles. Like, no, it's not. Right. Like, it's gonna be really confusing. Huh? Yeah. Although, so, like, the worst case scenario is if somebody says that, and then somebody at Disney's like, "Yeah, that's the case." Well, I mean, here's the thing: now we never saw Matt Smith in Star Wars. He is in Morbius, though. Yeah. But I just, I feel bad for him, kind of losing his opportunity there. I swear, I swear, I honestly think he was supposed to play young Palpatine. Um, I think that when Pal- when he forced drained Ray and Kylo Ren, I think he was supposed to go back to being like as young as they were. Right. And poor he fucking. was supposed to be. Yeah. What they didn't have faith in him, I guess. I don't know. I, I maybe maybe they were like, oh, it'd be better if we could just get Ian McDermott back. Shit. But now he's supposed to show up in a Darth Maul series, right? That Darth Maul series, I don't think is actually happening. I don't think that's actually happening. No. I just want, here's the thing. Why can't the Star Wars movies be like the Marvel phases? But, like, what I'm saying is the Marvel phase now fucking sucks ass. Like, after Endgame. I feel. Like, I feel there's going to be a lot of fucking failures, I think. But when they had a one, two, and three, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this one, to me, is like a fucking joke. Yeah. And to me, I don't fucking count Disney Plus stuff as fucking phases. Even though, right. whatever, because you, now you're getting ridiculous. Like, to me, the announcement of phase four mm-hmm. was terrible because the stupid Disney Plus. I'm not, I'm just saying the Disney Plus stuff took away from the movie cinematic stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then everybody got so confused, like, oh, Marvel's gonna announce four, five, and six phase. No, they never do that. They never announce phase four and phase five together. It's, it's one phase at a time. Yeah, because that would be way too much. So why are we even talking about phase five when we don't even know what the fuck phase four is? And we still don't know everything in phase fucking four. The, the, re- the reason people went off the rails of phase five is because they were expecting to see certain things in phase four. Like and they didn't four. Up. Right. And then and, and like, oh, it must be phase five. So they, they don't, they don't work it like that. It's probably phase four. It's just a long, it's probably going to be a, a, a phase four. It's probably going to be like a five year span. I could be. Yeah. Not no, I mean, phase one was what, like one, two years. What was it? Uh, it, it went to Avengers. No, but how many years was it? The phase four, four years. All right, so I mean, this is probably a five-year fucking phase, phase four. You know? Possible. People just gotta like relax themselves. I don't know. I don't know anybody that they. I don't, no way did they say phase five. You don't announce a phase ahead of a phase. Look what they did the last minute. You found out that Far From Home was like the last movie, right? I mean. Well, that and they mo- they moved movies around when they got they got the rights to Spider Man in the first place. Yeah, right. They they moved a lot of things around. So now they're gonna film soon. So I don't know what the fuck's happening in the next Spider Man movie. Yeah, I don't know. But I heard that the thing that's going on TV is that they're getting the rights back to the Defenders with Daredevil, mm-hmm. right? All of them. That's gonna be a TV show. So they're gonna have Daredevil represent Peter Parker, probably. I don't even know. Matt Murdock? I, I don't even know. If, I don't know if Marvel wants to do anything with with them right now. Yeah. Possibly just hold them off. All right. We're done with this cast. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.